The directory name is invalid. This error containing a drive letter, in this case Z, may nag you in Windows every 10 minutes or so. Most solutions you will find online will have to deal with reinstalling drivers for the drive, formatting the drive, managing partitions of the drive through disk management, while other websites will paddle some disk recovery or disk management software for you to resolve this issue. Some of those solutions are quite decent, however, in this particular case, the cause for the issue is completely different, and that's why those solutions don't work. So what you have to do is just open your file explorer and find the drive with the letter which was in the window title of the error. The error was for drive Z, so all you need to do to get rid of this error is just right-click on this removable drive and select Eject from the context menu. This will eject the drive even though it is not populated. If error still appears after you eject the drive, just reboot the PC and the error should be gone. The reason for this error is this computer probably has some kind of drive with removable media. In this case, this is a card reader. So a card reader is a device that reads removable media, which are flash memory cards like SD cards, for example. And probably sometime in the past, this card was removed from the card reader while still being accessed in Windows. In some cases, it may be pinned to the quick access menu in Windows File Explorer. This mostly happens with those card readers. It can rarely happen to USB drives like USB thumb drives or external USB hard drives or SSD drives, but these cases are rare. A more common case, apart from the card reader, is when you try to mount some file as a drive in Windows. For example, when you are trying to mount an ISO image as a drive in Windows. If the image file is damaged, or you delete it while it is still mounted, the error will be the same. Anyway, in all the cases, the solution is to just eject this removable drive and reboot your PC. In some cases, if the drive is empty, you will not be able to see it in the file manager. To review it, you will have to open folder options from Windows Explorer settings and untick the setting which is called hide empty drives. After you do that, the removable media without the media inside will be revealed in the file manager. It is worth mentioning that this error is not limited to memory cards. It can also appear for network drives, which suddenly got disconnected. It may also appear when you try to insert a drive which was formatted in a weird way, for example by your gaming console. And the drive may just fail. If a drive fails in a certain way, Windows may also display this error when you try to connect it. However, this error, as I said, mostly happens with card readers especially old ones, which have been heavily used, and some of the pins inside got bent. This is especially true for compact flash media. So if the bent pins inside got shortened, that may lead to all kinds of errors in Windows. In this particular case, you may have noticed that there is a USB headset connected to the USB port, which is inside this card reader. And this error immediately disappeared and never got back as soon as the USB headset was removed from the port and connected to the USB port in the front of the case. So this card reader is definitely malfunctioning and the best way to get rid of errors is to disconnect this card reader from the motherboard. If you don't want an open gap in the front panel of your case, you may leave the device itself but you should disconnect it to completely eliminate all the problems the malfunctioning card reader may cause. I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, thanks, jingle bells.